up, slow down. Thanks for coming out tonight. Don't get too excited. I'm a dad, you know, it's one of my only nights out. You can make it good for me if you want. <laughs> my name is Jason Miller, and if you've seen me before, you know I'm a stay-at-home dad. If you haven't seen me before, you're thinking, obviously, that dude doesn't work a real job. <laughs> job, fuckers. It's a, the most important job, you know? I might not be sitting at a desk at Facebook all day, but I've got a life in my hands, man. <laughs> well, whatever. You can think what you want, because, you know, my almost three-year-old son, he's unemployed, too, so as far as we're concerned, we're just two dudes living the dream, man. <laughs> we're fucking men of leisure. We ain't got shit to do. Stay in our pajamas till two. Spend the afternoon at the zoo. We rhyme words. It's fucking awesome. The other day, uh, yesterday, actually, I took my son to the beer cave in Benson, a new beer cave, you know? We played the Freddy Krueger pinball machine. I am father of the year, yes, I know what you're thinking. I had to keep him away from the Super, Super Mario Brothers game, though, because you know, like, every night he asked me to, like, tell him a story. Tell me a story, Donna. Tell me a story. Before Ben, I've been running dry on the stories lately. You know, just, like, every fucking day. So I started just telling him, like, the plot lines from old video games. <laughs> There's these two brothers, and they have this big monkey Donkey Kong, and it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Doing Pitfall, Street Fighter 2, man. I got them all down. The other day I was at the park with all the moms, because when I call the dads to go to work, I'm out at the park with all the moms. And uh, one of the moms was like, what are you going to do when your son goes to school? It's like, what? Well, what, what? When your son was in kindergarten, are you going to go back to work? It's like, no. <laughs> I'm going to homeschool him, obviously. <laughs> You're gonna homeschool him, that's very brave. I can't believe you're gonna homeschool. How long are you gonna do that for? I'm like, how long can I do it for? I'm thinking homeschool, home high school, home college. Because home college is when shit's really gonna get good, you know? <laughs> we'll be ditching class, going to happy hour. We'll study abroad for a semester. Spend spring break in fucking Amsterdam, you know? Home college is when I'm really going to show my, you know, skills as a father, so I'm getting ready for that. Until then, it's all like twisty slides and underdogs. Remember underdogs? The other day, I was like, you know, I'm going to blow my son's mind. I'm going to show him an underdog on the swing. He's not going to even know what had happened. He's going to be like, whoa! So I give him an underdog, and he's like, again! And I give him another dog, he's like, more! And I give him another dog, he's like, again! Give him another dog, he's like, more! And little, little did I know, he's gonna be a crack addict for the fucking underdogs. <laughs> and that's not even the hardest part. The hardest, I mean, like, I don't know, well, first of all, have you ever given a 30 pound kid 50 underdogs in a row in the sand against the wind? <laughs> that's every day. I mean, I don't, I don't look like this because I don't work out, you know what I mean? But I'm like, you know, that's not even the hardest part. The hardest part is getting him out of the swing to take him home to take a nap. I don't know if you know anything about kids. They don't like to take a nap and they don't like to leave the park. So he's like hanging on to the swing for dear life. He's crossing his legs so I can't get him out of that, you know, it's like the kid's swing, you know, he put the legs and he's got his legs crossed. He's hanging on, he's like, no, no, I don't want to go home, I don't want to go home. I'm begging, I'm like, bargaining with him, I'm threatening him, doing everything I can, but mostly I'm just trying to convince the other people at the park that I'm not trying to kidnap the cute little blonde boy. Because look at me. And he's kidnapped cute too, you know? I gotta watch the moms so they don't take him and leave him with one of their shitty ass ugly kids. You know? But then I'm thinking, you know, why the fuck would I want to kidnap a kid? If I didn't have a kid, I would not want one. <laughs> but that's not to say I haven't thought about it, you know? Be at the park, watching these fuckers fight over a shovel, push each other around the slide. I'm like, what if I just round up all these bastards? I need a van, of course. <laughs> With no windows. <laughs> And I would take him to the Omaha Zoo, you know? And I'd put him in the desert dome, and I'd lock him in there, and I'd stage my own little Hunger Games. <laughs> exactly! You would totally go watch that shit, you know? And it's not weird, because my son 
Ron would be in it too. <laughs> He'd probably lose, you know? Because I don't know how far, how far like good abs, long hair, and a cute face get you in the Hunger Games, man, but I can't imagine very far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can't let the cute fool you, you know? Kind of like the cute, you know, and he's really cute. He's not like, I'm just, I'm not just one of those parents that are like, look at my ugly kid, isn't he so cute? No. That kid's fucking cute. I would have sold him by now if he wasn't, you know? <laughs> but like, it, it, you can't let the cute fool you, because it's kind of like the Mogwai and Gremlins, you know? <laughs> like one second they're cute, the next second they're swinging from the ceiling fan with a mohawk smoking fucking cigarettes. <laughs> Drinking all your beer, but at least with the gremlins there were rules, you know? You don't get them wet. You don't feed them after midnight, do whatever the Chinese guy tells you. But not with kids, they just send you home, they're like, good luck, here's your fucking kid, good luck. And it's anarchy, there are no rules. From the moment I get up, or from the moment he gets up to the moment he goes to bed, he's looting my house. I wake up, he's feeding his fruit to the dog, you know, wearing a Guy Fox mask, accusing me of being the 1% demanding chocolate milk and french fries. Right. He's got his finger paints out, writing anarchy symbols on the walls. Giving himself juggalo face paints. What am I supposed to do? So I join them, you know? Because I don't know how good of a dad I am, but I'm getting really fucking good at finger painting. The other day, the other day we were at Target, I was buying these shoes right here. Look at those, yeah, they're on sale. And I'm like, I'm gonna be a cool dad, I'm gonna take my son down the toy aisle, you know? But I wasn't planning on buying him anything, so I wasn't a cool dad, I was just an asshole. <laughs> And he's looking at the trains, and he's big into trains, and Thomas the train, and Thomas has this friend called Percy. He's a green train. He saw this Percy train, had a couple passenger cars, and he didn't have it. You know, he's like, Dada, buy me that. Like, you know, your birthday's coming up. Because I know I've heard that one. <laughs> but the little anarchist didn't take to that very well, man. He starts screaming in the middle of the aisle. All of a sudden, he's occupying targets. <laughs> I'm like, ah, he's screaming, but the thing is, he just started talking. So when he's saying Percy, the name of this train, it sounds like he's saying pussy. <laughs> so he's like, Dada, I need the pussy, Dada, I need the pussy. Dada, I want the pussy. I want him like, oh, fuck, I gotta get out of here, you know. I'm rushing to the front of the store, pushing him in the cart. I want the pussy. I'm like, I have nothing. I have no chocolate milk, I have no cookies, I got nothing. I'm fucked. And he's just screaming, I want the pussy, Dada, I want the pussy. I get to the front, I'm trying to pay my shoes, the lady's looking at me, and I'm like, it's not what you think, it's not what you think. I want the pussy, daddy, I want the pussy, I'm apologizing to everyone, just give me my shoes, I'm gonna get out of here. Finally get out, you know, and I get him in the car, put him in his car, she's like, daddy, I want the pussy, daddy, I need the big pussy, I want the big pussy, daddy. I'm driving home the whole way home. I want the pussy, daddy, I want the pussy train, and I'm thinking, pussy train, that's a fucking idea. <laughs> I get home and I'm like, I take him out of his car, see, bring him in the house. Finally, I'm in my own, you know, I'm in my own place in private. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's like, Dada, I wanted you to buy the pussy. I wanted you to buy me the pussy, Dada. Buy me the pussy. I go, listen, dude. I'll buy you all the pussy you want when we're on spring break in Amsterdam. <laughs> But until then, shut the fuck up, go to your room, watch some dinosaur train or some shit. My name is Jason Miller, thank you very much. Jason Miller, everyone. Hooray! Yes. Good, good.